Saving our babies' lives is not a budget issue. It's not a deficit issue. It's not a political issue. It's a moral issue. As the history of this country is written, Marion Wright Edelman will be seen as one of the most consequential people who's ever been a part of the fabric of this nation. Marion deserves a lot of credit for helping our kids have a healthier, more just, equitable, safer, secure, and sustainable future. All of those issues that surround how do we lift up children in our society, particularly the most disadvantaged, and how can we use the power of policy to make sure we're including children at the center of the way we think about opportunity in our democracy. That all begins with Marion. I don't remember a time in my life when I didn't kind of know the name Marion Wright Edelman. I remember my mom talking about this woman who had inspired her and helped fire up her ambition as an advocate and an activist. I'd say that hers is a legacy of righteous activism, somebody who has dedicated her life to the well-being of children, of kids. You can't get any more pure than that. Marion Wright Elderman has been one of the most reliable, dependable force to keep the issue of children before the Congress and before the American people. When you think of a child advocate, it should be Marion's picture because she's so passionate about everything from health care to gun control, and she is one of the great forces behind children in our country. When I think of Marion, I think of courage and creativity and commitment, and I think what she's inspired can lead to real change. I have no objection to doing anything that the law permits me to do for, for kids. I think that nothing is more important to have senators vote on and do the right thing about it. I love her with my whole heart. She has been the change that she wanted to see in the world. And if the rent that we're paying is service, she gave us that statement and made it resonate with us in a way that we felt responsible for and held hostage to. We have always respected her, adored her. We love her. She's one of the handful of people that we just are so in awe of. And like so many others, so grateful. So grateful. I just want to join the congregation of those people who are here to applaud Marion Wright Edelman and the work that she has done in the world. My husband Samuel L. Jackson and I, my daughter Zoe, are fans. And we are grateful in a real way for the service that she has made a reality in all of our lives. Thank you, Marion. If Martin Luther King Jr. could come back and see what Marion Wright Elderman is doing, he would be very proud. I admire her. As a matter of fact, I love her. She is as humble as she is forceful. She is someone who, at her core, never, never, never gives up on this mission of trying to lift up America's most vulnerable people. And I just have so much admiration for her and so much uh, respect for her. Thank you, Mrs. Edelman. Without you, I wouldn't be able to keep thinking that I do have a better future and a voice to be heard. And for having such a great impact on children all around the country, for inspiring people to like do better and to be, overcome the situations that they've been in. Mrs. Edelman is a role model, a leader, an activist, and something that I would like to be in life as well. On behalf of the American people, and especially the children of this nation, you know, more than anything, I, I simply want to say thank you, Marion Wright Edelman, for all that you have done. You've made our nation better, you've made children more safe, and we owe you a great deal of gratitude. Thank you, Marion. <laughs>